Hi, this is Dr. Fryer, and I'm here in our Maker Studio at Independence Elementary, and I'd like to talk real quick about how you can create a Lego stop, ma stop motion movie here at this center. Um, first off, you're going to, of course, need an iPad, and the app that you're going to need that we're using is called Stop Motion Cafe, and if you simply pull down on the iPad and put in the word stop, or you try to type motion, you can go ahead and open it, and if it doesn't open to this screen, and it's here, you are going to start probably by tapping more, and you're going to say new project, and then you can say capture frame. Now, we've got these awesome tripods that are made of duct tape and uh, cardboard that our art teacher, Ms. Myers, figured out how to make last year. I have another video, if you're a teacher watching this and are interested in how to do that, and I'll um, link that below um, in YouTube. But you're going to want to put your iPad here and get your um, Lego uh, base plate set. I recommend probably taking a piece of duct tape and putting it underneath. And the reason for that is you want to try to keep everything as still as possible. Try to keep the background still, keep the actual plate still. The only thing you really want to have moving when you do your stop motion are the Legos. So we're not going to do the time delay, which is down here below. And you can decide whether or not you want to turn on the ghost. If you turn the ghost on in the corner, it's going to show the last thing that you built. So as an example, I think I'll just maybe build a small little tower here. Um, so you might want to um, take a picture before anything started. You touch right in the middle to take a picture, and it goes to one. Then go ahead and put out your first block. Make sure your hand is out of the scene. Go ahead and tap again. And you're just going to keep on putting objects that you want to record here inside. Again, make sure you take your, your uh, finger out each time. And if you want to, you can have more than one thing happening at once. So I've got this tower being built. What I think I'll do now is maybe I'll have this little car rolling in. So I'll have it appear. One of the biggest mistakes that people make with stop motion is that they try and do too much motion at the same time, you want to only add or change a very small number of things or a very small distance each time. Because when you make large movements, it gets really jumpy and that doesn't make for good stop motion. So try and don't, don't make things jump around too much by making things just you know move a little bit at a time. So I'm going to have this actually hit this tower. And so now my tower is going to break. And this is a little bit hard. This is a lot of motion to have at one point. But unless you're using a wire or something to hold something in place, or you've got some um, fishing wire or something like that, it, it can be a little hard sometimes when things fall to not have them move a great distance. But basically for this little demonstration, that's just 20 frames, okay? Uh, again, if you tap on the ghost, you'll see where objects were before. It's called onion skinning and it's a technique and that can help you get an idea of, of you know what you had before in the previous picture. So it's up to you whether you want that or not. When you're basically done, you tap done here in the corner, and then you're going to do two things. You're going to tap elaborate movie and play. Notice that this says 12 FPS. That's frames per second. And when we watch television and movies, we're seeing almost 30 frames every second. It's actually 29.97 frames, but it's about 30. So this is going to be 12 frames per second and you're going to see that it's going to play pretty fast. If your iPad asks, if it has permission to access photos, you want to say OK, and then you're going to be able to play your video. And so it's going to play. Wow, that was really fast. That was 12 frames per second. What I recommend you do is you tap the minus and step down to 6 or maybe even 5 frames per second. Tap Elaborate Movie again. It's going to build the movie another time. And now when you play it, it's going to be twice as long because you're only doing 5 frames per second instead of doing 12. So that is a quick demo of how Stop Motion Cafe works and you can create your movies, have fun, and when you create something that you'd like to share, 
Um, you can use our InstaShare application to transfer it over to my phone so we can upload it to YouTube and we'll share it with other people so they can check it out too and be inspired by your work.